What's going on, silencers? And welcome back to a game I never thought I would honestly have to revisit. This is Ascent of Ashes. Uh, this was a uh, play test proof of concept. I don't know what kind of crap it was, but it was it sucked. Uh, however, it has had some updates, and I said I would come back to it if, if it ever got updated. So, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things, and thank you very much to my patrons for your support in getting me this far. Couldn't have done it without you. And without any further ado, let's see what the apocalypse holds for us. All right. So this is still an early build, but uh, the tutorial's been updated and all that stuff. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay, with the survivor selected, right click any weapon to equip it. Okay. Uh, you grab SMG, you grab this other hunting shotgun. And I don't see anything else. Okay, right. you harvest or not um ah to put your survivors to work open the work assignment menu and use the check boxes okay what the fuck's the work assignment is that it no that's not it uh work there we go let's see um I think everybody can haul right now, and we'll have two builders. Some work types, such as wood chopping, require that you designate trees for chopping. To do so, open the build menu, click the orders button. Oh. Ugh. Did not mean to sneeze. Okay. And then just designate some trees for the chop. There we go. Kind of a small map, but it'll work. <laughs> Sneezing. Um, open the build menu, select the structure you want to build, a structure. Um, a wooden wall. We'll put it seven by two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do another seven. And then we'll do four. Do a little entryway thing. And then revise the door. How do I rotate it? Am I supposed to put it in a wall? Is that what's supposed to happen? And then improvise door. Okay, so it is supposed to be rotatable. <laughs> okay. Wooden wall. No. Wooden door. Right there. And then we'll go back to the work tab and we'll have uh, everybody who's foraging also do some wood a uh, chappin. And then build orders, chop that. There we go. Now we got plenty of wood. Uh, to move the uh, camera up and down, we can page up and page down. Uh, right click on a cliff to order them to climb it or to construct stairs. Uh, you. Won't let me click. 
Right, clicking, not working. Right click on a cliff and order them to climb it or construct stairs. So up. So if I grab you, just grab um, Ah, well let me grab the survivors. I'm not on the same level. So page up, right click. Page down, right click. Ah, there we go, climb. And then we can also construct stairs. So wooden stairs. Uh, I imagine that would be slightly safer than anything. Let me go up and cool. So they've got that whole level. Now you, uh, I don't know, go back to what you were doing. Oh, you're stuck now. So I have to. Yeah, whatever. Let them finish building that. I'll be right back with you. To progress, you need to obtain new items and resources. You need to launch an expedition into the world. And you can do so by opening the expedition menu. Expedition. Um, selecting expedition members and destination. Expedition locations often have hostels to make sure your survivors are armed before sending them. Okay, we'll send uh, three people to the roadside or to the abandoned farmhouse. Yes, let's do that. Uh, okay, so I can move them around. Do wish it was daytime. Let me see if I can do something about that. Hmm. Probably nothing super productive. Oh, and so when you just press T, they go into combat mode. Cool. Um, I wish I could select more than one at a time, but that's okay. Eh, it's okay. We'll make it work. Um, right clicking on a location and dragging to set their facing direction. Oh. Oh, shit. I think Michael's down. Yeah, Michael's down. Shit. And Kieran's down too. Oh no, we did. Uh oh. How do I get back to my normal world? Expedition. Uh. Okay. I think uh, my main mistake was I left it on uh, triple speed. All right. This is going to be a really short second look at this game. It feels much more polished than it was before. I am quite impressed with just how much smoother it feels. Obviously, the first one was supposed to be some kind of technical demo or whatever the hell you want to call it. It was trash. It's still not great but I see a lot of potential in it. And I'm willing to say, I'll give it another shot when it gets a little more polish going. Uh, it's still unclear on some of the pieces, but you know what? We all got to start somewhere. So if you did enjoy the content, you know exactly what to do. Thank you very much to my patrons, both Emeritus and Current, for your support. And I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.